Hello everyone. Welcome to our 101 to Essential Oils class uh, today. My name is Laura. I am from Johannesburg in South Africa and I would just like to share a little bit about my story with you. I joined Young Living and I initially thought that I wouldn't be interested in all the oils and I wouldn't be interested in all the products. I was like into it just for, um, for the little owl and the cute little owl and the lavender oils. And then I attended a Zoom class and I found out about chemicals and the chemicals you found in your beauty products. And that, that kind of shocked me into reality, realizing that the average woman puts more than 100 chemicals on her body before she starts her day. So in reality, there are actually 33 liters of toxins that go down the drain. And that was a study that was done in 2015. And when I read about it, it was so shocking because I realized that all these toxins are going into our sea and into our ocean. And the study that they did actually said that one in 10 male frogs became female frogs. And that was because uh, caused by the toxins which are endocrine disruptors. So endocrine disru your endocrine system um, is a, like a system of glands, and it 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 it's about all about your hormones. Your, it controls your energy levels, your sleep patterns, your metabolism, weight management. Um, it even controls your stress levels, anxiety, emotions, and your reproductive system. And we all know how many people struggle with sleep, health, and uh, fertility. So that was very shocking to me to know that, um, to find out that endocrine disruptors um, actually mimic our hormones. So our body thinks it's hormones, but it's not actually hormones. And our body can't really get rid of them because um, they get caught up in your liver and normal hormones get broken down in your liver, but synthetic hormones um, can't be broken down and actually become like extra fat cells, um, which are all toxic in your body. So um, there's absolutely no regulation on cleaning products and beauty products. And that was what actually drew me to find out more about um, toxin-free living and um, living a healthier life. Because, you know, going into menopause myself and being affected by um, hormonal changes, this was something major for me. So... When I realized that um, the word fragrance or parfum actually hides all these chemicals, companies hide all these nasty um, chemicals just in that one word on a label, that actually just helped me to cut out some of my soaps, well, my, my soaps and my shampoos and body lotions, anything that said fragrance, I immediately started cutting out and started being a little bit, um, living a little bit greener. So um, even, if a, even if a product says clean or green or um, natural or organic, that still doesn't mean to say that it's, that it's actually good for you because up to 300 chemicals can be hidden in just that one word. So there's a great uh, website where you can go and have a look at it. It's called ewg.org. And they also have, um, you can go and look at Skin Deep. Um, there's lots of research gone into a list of um, 12 toxins they call the Dirty Dozen. I've actually downloaded the app. It's called the EWG's Health Living app. And there you can go and look up um, some of the toxins that, um, they are spoke, uh, that they talk about. So triclosan is one of the chemicals. Um, and it's found in uh, all our antibacterial products. So this ranges from cleaning products, hand soaps, cosmetics, ma cosmetic materials, and even uh, some athletic clothing and food packaging. And worst of all, it's in all the hand sanitizers. So we all are cleaning our hands with hand sanitizers, and um, this product called Triclosan is in there. Um, the FDA actually banned it um, because it's they they could just not prove that it was healthy for human for for the human body, and so when you wash your hands, you don't only just kill the bad bacteria, but you also clean, kill all the good bacteria, and that is so enormous because eighty percent of our immunity lies in our gut, and our um, bacteria is directly related to our gut. 
So it not only just destroys the bad bacteria, but also all the good bacteria that we're supposed to have. And then, of course, not to mention how it affects our hormones. So the other product that I just want to quickly mention is SLS, sodium laurel sulfate. And I actually went and had a look on um, lots of my um, personal care products and I found SLS or sodium laurel sulfate in there. So sodium laurel sulfate is the product that helps make um, products foam. And we're all raised to think that if it foams, then it cleans well. So I'm talking about toothpaste, shampoo, and that's just, you know, just the tip of the iceberg. So all of these, uh, sodium laurel sulfate is also endocrine disruptor. And it's been linked to many cancers and skin, even skin irritations. So lots of people often say that they are allergic or have a reaction to products that they use. And nine out of 10 times, that's because of the sodium laurel sulfate. So two other ones that I'm just going to touch on are parabens and formaldehyde. If you don't know what formaldehyde is, formaldehyde is the product that they use in uh, labs to keep like embryos and things in those glass jars so yeah it's really really bad stuff if you it actually um, formaldehyde can also cause rigor mortis so that is just terrible to think that you and lots of even like nail polishes have that in to make your nails hard you know all those things i've been using nail polish hardener you know nail hardeners for years and i never realized that so there's always a better way and there's always a better way for us to clean our homes. There are safer ways to clean our homes. There are cleaner um, plant-based products to clean our homes and um, better ways to clean our bodies as well. So I'm going to be handing over to Chrissy that's going to be telling us all about essential oils. Hello everyone. Um, I'm going to tell you all about essential oils. So essential oils comes from the trees, the shrubs, the leaves, the grasses, the resins, and the flowers. Think of rose petals rubbed between your fingers, or when you peel an orange, that beautiful residue, that is essential oils. So essential oils are the, love blood, the life blood of the plant. They are there to heal, restore, protect the plant, acting as its natural defense mechanism. Almost like when you, you know, when you cut grass and it grows back even stronger, that's exactly what it does to our bodies as well. Our, our bodies respond to essential, oil, essential oils the same way as plants do, helping us on a cellular level. Um, the oils provide support for every system in our body, our skeletal system, our muscular system, our circulatory system, these are huge words, <laughs> our endocrine system, our hormones, our respiratory system, as well as our immune system. Essential oils also support brain health and, um, and, and a healthy weight. It is also great for spiritual and emotional support. Essential oils are not a new age thing. In fact, it's been around for thousands of years and has been mentioned in the Bible over a thousand times and seen in the hieroglyphs, I don't know, how do you say this word? <laughs> hieroglyphs um, on, the, on Egyptian walls. So let that sink in for a minute. God first made plants, then he made man. And he knew that we were going to sin, which would lead to sickness. And with that in mind, he created our bodies with ourselves. Now listen to this, our body's response, um, the response time to these oils um, to reach our brains take 22 seconds, two minutes for it to enter our bloodstream, and then 20 minutes for it to affect every single cell in our body. Now that is pretty incredible. Each cell has, um, each cell has cell receptors on the outside, allowing toxins to filter out and then good things to come back in like antioxidants. Um, when these cell receptors become clogged, you could cause off petrochemicals and petroleum based things like Laura mentioned, our lotions, our makeup, our BPA products, our cells become toxic and full of junk. 
And essential oils act as little scrubbing brushes and it scrubs our cell receptors, um, increasing cellular communication again. So just like a good marriage, our cells need to be able to communicate effectively. So for that reason, we use essential oils. Um, they help us to live above the wellness line and to prevent rather than treat. Um, you only need one to three drops per use. One drop can penetrate every single cell in your body. There are literally more molecules in one drop of oil than there are cells in our entire body. With that in mind, I'm gonna give over to Laura to tell you a little bit more about why Young Living Essential Worlds. Thank you. Hi everybody, my name is Laura, I'm the other Laura. Um, why, why we love Young Living Oils? Young Living Oils have been around for more than 30 years. And even though essential oils are all the hype at the moment, there's still no regulation. So it's very difficult to know when you buy a bottle of oil. Is, is the oil inside? Does it really have healing properties? Young Living does it in a very, very different way. They have their own farms and their own distilleries and they control the process from end to end. What other companies do is they source the oil from brokers and these brokers buy the oils from farmers who do not have the same goals as Young Living. They try and they distill the oils and they use uh, herbicides and pesticides to keep the bugs away. They distill the oils with chemicals and they don't prepare their soil properly. So in the end, we don't know what we are buying in the bottle. Young Living, their promise to us is seed to seal. Now, the organic standard is not good enough for Young Living. The organic standard says soil must be prepared for four years. Young Living does theirs in eight years. The goal is to have virgin soil with no pesticides or herbicides. They, they're so creative, they're even experimenting with sheep to eat the weeds instead of using something else. So yeah, that's quite creative. Um, when harvesting lavender, they test every hour on the hour to see if it's at its peak to be harvested, knowing that it will have the most healing compounds in. Every farm has at least one set of tools that they use to analyze the product before it's shipped to headquarters. When it reaches headquarters, 42 tests are done before bottling and 42 tests a test after bottling to see if it's a good distillation, if the, the chemical compounds are high enough, if there are any heavy metals in it. All these tests are done so that we can know that this oil is the purest form and is the highest healing potential a plant can have. Young Living is also a very transparent company. What's on the label is in the bottle. Um, in, when uh, oil is labeled as organic, it only needs one drop of an organic substance to, have a, to be labeled organic. And um, the USDA organic says that there can be 5% of a chemical compound in, in a bottle. Now, the chemicals they use to distill these oils are the same as we find in our air cons. I mean, antifreeze, wow, that's actually very scary. But um, th that's why Young Living is so different. Young Living is family owned and their vision is to have essential oils in every home in the world. The founder, Gary Young said, I create Young Living products for a purpose and not for a profit. So we can know that we are getting the purest oil with the most healing properties in every bottle. And from me to Chrissy. Perfect, thank you, Laura, that was, that was amazing. 
Okay, so I'm gonna tell you how you can apply your essential oils. So the first way you can apply your essential oils is topically. Uh, essential oils are absorbed by the skin, which is the largest part um, or the largest organ of the body. In fact, the bottoms of our feet have over 2,000 pores and some of the largest pores on the body. So this is a great way um, to get oils absorbed rapidly and to plant oils that you might not like the smell of or that um, might be a hot oil. Okay, there are um, two ways to apply it topically. So the first way is neat, which is directly onto the skin um, or diluted, which is using a carrier oil. Carrier oils are fatty oils like coconut oil or grapeseed or sweet almond oil. They help you to dilute essential oils, making it easy to apply on larger surfaces of the skin, um, like the, your back or on your legs. I like to use a little roller bottle where I add my carrier oil in with my preferred essential oils. Okay. Using a carrier oil also helps to temper oils that are considered hot, like um, peppermint, cinnamon, or oregano. Diluting oils does not reduce the effectiveness of the, the, the essential oils. Instead, it acts more like a, a slow release. Um, and it's typically recommended diluting on children and even yourself if you're not exactly sure how your skin will handle an oil. Diluting also stretches your essential oil and a little bit your rand. Okay, so the second way you can use essential oils is through inhaling. Scents are very powerful and the fastest way to reach your mood center is through your nose. In less than a second, essential oils hit the limbic system where um, our emotions are, are housed and it has a very powerful effect on our moods. Um, think of smelling freshly cut grass or a fresh baked bread or mom's yummy chocolate cake. The feelings and the emotions that goes along with those smells. Now essential oils does exactly the same. Most homes come with some kind of air freshener, whether it is an aerosol spray or a um, fragrance candle. Um, with these products contain very harmful chemicals, namely formaldehyde, which is a class one carcinogen. The, um, these have been linked to many types of cancers and many other health issues and should be avoided at all costs. Instead, use our essential oils um, in spray bottles with water and um, a little bit of witch hazel to replace your synthetic air freshener or even in your diffuser and save money this way. Um, but also in the same time, you are kicking out harmful chemicals, um, which is very, very important. The benefit of diffusing, well, it's non-toxic, it's mood enhancing, it purifies the air, it helps you sleep better. And then there's another way you can apply um, your oils, and that is on your hand, just add one drop, rub it between the palms of your hand and make a little scent tint of your face. <laughs> breathe in and breathe out. That way you can get the oils inhaled as well. And then a very easy way of inhaling oils is just smelling the bottle. Okay. You can also add the oils to diffuser jewelry, which has the lava beads or wooden beads so that you can have the fragrance on you all day long. Okay, and then the last way is internally. Now, before I go into detail, um, I just wanna say I would not advise anyone using any other oil outside of Young Living internally because we do not know what's inside of those, um, those oils. Like um, Laura explained to you, there's no regulations. Um, so in the US, there's an entire line of essential oils dedicated to internal consumption. This range is called their vitality range. Um, and in the US, they are required to label the oils that are um, intended for cosmetic use or internal use differently. But it's the same oil, it's just labeled differently, okay? So I like to um, 
add a few drops into my water. I love adding lemon into my water or orange into my ningxia. Um, I enjoy adding peppermint to brownies um, and cooking with oils are amazing. Um, I know that a lot of us enjoy making our own supplement ranges as well. We add our oils into a veggie cap and fill it with a carrier oil, which makes it easier um, for the body to absorb the, it, absorb the essential oils. Um, and then you can also add a, um, your essential oils onto a spoon of honey and consume it that way. Just remember, there are two places that you do not put oils. Um, the one is inside of your eye. Um, if you happen to get some oils inside of your eye, um, never, ever, ever add water to it. Use an, um, a carrier oil to remove the oil. And the second place is inside of your ear. You can put it around your ear and around your eye, but not inside of your of your ear or your eyes, okay? Um, and then I'm giving back over to Laura to discuss our beautiful starter kit. Hi, okay, so I've got one, our pre we call it our premium starter kit. So it comes beautifully curated um, and it is also highly discounted. Uh, you do get different kinds of starter kits. This is our premium starter kit. We call it the PSK for short. You also get CBD starter kits, um, thieves cleaning starter kits, and um, uh, I can't think of it off the top of my head right now. So, but the the essential the PSK is our essential reward uh, is our bread and butter. The essential uh, the essential oil kit. Um, it comes with a beautiful diffuser called the Dew Drop Diffuser, and this is what it looks like. So the diffuser has 12 light settings. It has three speed settings. So on this button, you can press it once for four hours, twice for eight hours, and um, the third time is when it goes one minute on, one minute off for 10 hours. So you can... Um, the the all of these oils basically cover um respiratory digestive and focus um oils and the only thing it doesn't include are the hormonal oils so tonight i'll be discussing three oils with you um let me just grab this one here i tried to get my other bottle and i couldn't find it um the first oil i would like to speak to you about is lavender so lavender is considered as the queen of all essential oils Frankincense is the king, and um, we'll be discussing that later. Lavender is the queen of all, all, they also call it the Swiss army knife of oils. So it heals, calms, relaxes, and it helps you with sleep. So I don't go one night sleep without it. I definitely um, sleep, and I also put it under my feet. So if you don't want to apply it to your skin, because your skin is your largest organ, um, under your feet, um, as Chrissy said, it's got your biggest pores. So it's, it's also great if you want to just put it under your feet. So if you want to know, there's, I think there's something like 115 known uses for lavender. So you can actually go and, uh, and Google that. Then I would like to speak to you about peppermint. So peppermint is an amazing little oil. It's awesome for opening nasal passages. Um, applying to your temples or behind your neck for headaches. Uh, great for memory, like if you want to focus, that's, uh, it's awesome. Um, you can also drop a drop on the crown of your head and that will really like ground you and wake you up. It supports um, your intestines, your gastrointestinal system, and it promotes um, healthy bowel movement. So I've had a few mommies that just put a drop of this into a baby's nappy them. I'm a baby, baby photographer. So just a drop of this, uh, not on at the bottom of the nappy, like it's kind of halfway to, up the back of the nappy. And then the baby goes and um, lots of people also just drop it in the toilet bowl. And yeah, even if you want to go and exercise, rub it on your chest, opens up the lungs nicely. And um, it's just gorgeous. Then the other one I want to talk to you about is uh, okay, now I'm going to hand over to Chrissy first, and Chrissy's going to discuss Bella. Chrissy? Thank you, Laura. 
So Gary Young, the founder of Young Living Essential Oil, had a favorite oil, and it is called Valor. Okay, so Valor is a beautiful blend, and it consists out of black spruce, blue tansy, comfer, um, geranium, and frankincense. Sorry, we have a phone ringing here in the background. Um, it was used by the ancient Roman, Romans in bathhouses before they sent soldiers into battle. Um, and it's been nicknamed Courage in a Bottle as it um, promotes feelings of bravery. It is also great to use before an important meeting, like I just rubbed myself with, with Bella. <laughs> <laughs> or um, big speeches or before your kids go to school. You can apply it along your spine for alignment. It's a chiropractor in a bottle. And you can um, also use it at the bottom of your big toe for, uh, for some basky snoring. <laughs> this is my fear oil. This is my place of calm. I wear it as a perfume. Um, I use it with frankincense during my daily skin routine. And I add it to a roller with orange to assist my kids during the exams. Thank you. Laura, I give back to Laura Clausen. I think it's Laura Sorry. Lees. Uh, Laura Lees, you're up. Hi, everybody. Um, today I'm talking about the humble lemon. Um, I think it's primarily used for cooking, but when God created the lemon, he packed it with a lot more punch and potency than we could ever imagine. It takes 75 lemons approximately to make 15 milliliters of essential oil. Um, the main ingredient constringent in the lemon is limonene, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Limonene is good for stress, anxiety, depression. Um, in addition to the positive mental perks, it's antifungal, it's antibacterial, and it even has anti-cancer properties. <laughs> Got to go back to punch in this little lemon. Citrus oils, unfortunately, should not be worn outside during the day because it's photosensitivity. Um, so it's good at night, not during the day, out in the sun. Um, the lemon has many different uses. It's an air fresher. I currently have it on with the peppermint just to get some uplifting and courage going on. Then you can freshen your towels with it. You can add it to water, which is quite good. You can remove grease. It's an excellent grease remover. Removes crayons. <laughs> Ask my mother. She did it. <laughs> it removes gum. It's a great sanitizer. It's a water alkalizer. It is even a teeth brightener. What more could you want? I use it currently because I have a calcification in my shoulder. So I use lemon and wintergreen in a veg capsule every single day or when I remember every day to get that done because I refuse to get an operation and I refuse to get another injection. So that's the humble little lemon. Now it's over to Laura again. You must get confused about with all these Lauras. <laughs> so, okay, I'm going to be talking about orange. We're all family, by the way. Um, orange. So when I got my starter kit, I thought, okay, what am I going to do with orange? And then I found out that orange is an excellent in, um, immunity, immunity enhancer. So I immediately started drinking it in my Ningxia Red. Um, it has antibacterial properties. And it's even an excellent anti-repellent. I've even used it for that. It helps people with the blood sugar levels. So this is an excellent um, little oil to um, use for blood sugar. And it is also a, a natural remedy for uh, joints and muscles. Um, sorry, bones. So um, that is the... Oh, and it's made from the... It's not made from the orange juice. It's made from the orange rind. 
and it, that's absolutely amazing. I always used to think that, um, especially with like like lemon that Laura Lee was speaking about, and orange. Sometimes it's a little bit sour, and this is, is not at all because it's totally made from the rind. So yeah, I love my orange, and I don't go. Um, as you can see, I buy them in 15 mils. So I'm handing back to Danica. Danica, you're on mute. Hello, hello, hey guys. I'm going to talk about eucalyptus radiata. So I absolutely love the eucalyptus radiata. It's got a mildly pungent, sweet, fruity aroma, and it's absolutely cooling and refreshing and energizing. It's an amazing oil. Comes from the leaf from the evergreen tree native to Australia. The eucalyptus radiata is steam distilled. This oil also promotes a stimulating and rejuvenating environment everywhere where it's diffused or used. The soothing scent is perfect for any by diffusing or rubbing on the chest or the back. Relatively gentle and non-irritating and especially good for the kids. Especially when they have like a stuffy nose, it's the best. Even with the, uh, sorry, with the lungs, it's good. The antibacterial, the antifungal, the antimicrobial, and the antiseptic principles of the eucalyptus radiata makes us a perfect oil for wounds and healing as well. It can also stop skin infections. How amazing is this? It's an amazing stain buster. It removes stains from carpets from walls, even from clothes. And it's perfect for massaging. Even it nourishes your hair. I use eucalyptus radiata to rinse my hair out and it does amazing stuff for my hair. And it can also be used for an insect repellent. I just love my eucalyptus radiata. Thank you guys. Thank you, Danica. That was amazing. <laughs> I'm so going to use eucalyptus in my shampoo from now onwards. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to tell you about the next oil in the Santa kit. It's called Purification. So this blend was um, crafted to purify the air. It consists out of citronella, lavender, lemongrass, rosemary, myrtle, and tea tree. I love using... Um, purification when I do spring cleaning um, it removes all kitchen and house odors leaving the house smelling smelling <laughs> smelling, smelling fresh and super clean um, it also it's also great to use in other smelly places like a gym bag stinky shoes bin liners um, use it to make a room spray or a linen spray it's great to repel but And, flea. and it's also great to use when you have earaches. So just apply it around the ear. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Um, tonight I'm talking about thieves. Thieves is a powerhouse of oils. Um, it's Young Living Signature Blend. It contains cloves, lemon, cinnamon bark, eucalyptus radiata and rosemary. It's antiviral, antibacterial, anti-everything. And it supports a healthy um, respiratory system. It's proven to kill 99.9 .9 of all germs and bacteria. It has a wonderful spicy smell. Thieves has a long history. It dates back from 1413 during the bubonic plague in France. Um, four thieves were caught um, stealing from the dead and dying. Um, they were spice merchants and they were stranded in the harbour. So, yeah, they went out and stole. Um, when they were caught, the judge said, um, you'll give them a lighter sentence if they revealed their um, secret why they were immune to, uh, to this terrible disease that was going around. And they eventually came forward with this blend but they were still, I think, hung. So yeah, that's terrible, but at least we, we have their secret. Um, 
So it is, it is amazing. And it's also the base ingredient in Young Living's cleaning products. So we know that when we, use, we clean our homes with this product, it is amazing. And it's so, so very powerful. And this has also been proven um, during this terrible time that we're in with COVID that it does assist people that are getting sick. My husband had um, a fever one night and he came home and he was feeling terrible. And I gave him that uh, we did the COVID protocol with thieves under the tongue every, I didn't start with a minute, I started with every 10 minutes. And after about 40 minutes, um, he said he could feel the fever leaving his body and that was quite amazing. So he's been telling everybody about thieves. So yes. Um, to us, it's amazing, and I've got about 10 bottles of thieves lined up in my office. So, <laughs> yeah, it's wonderful. Um, I'm giving over to Chrissy. Thank you, Laura. Um, yeah, thieves is my absolute go to for any sniffle in my house. Um, Okay, so I am going to tell you about a very underrated oil, actually. And it shouldn't be because it's such an incredible oil. It doesn't smell like those terrible candles that um, we all used to um, because this is the real deal. This is proper citronella. Citronella is great for outdoor activities um, or to sweeten a custom fragrance. Uh, you can apply it to refresh or moisturize your skin. Um, many um, use it as an alternative to, to deodorant. And for an extra, for some extra strength, you can add some tea tree to it. It has a refreshing, uplifting fragrance. It eliminates odors. It's an insect repellent. Um, it promotes wound healing, lifts moods, fights fatigue, and helps with coughing. Thank you. The last one on our list is frankincense. I absolutely adore frankincense. Frankincense is the king of oils. Um, and they say when an oil smells amazing to you, that's the oil you must use. And that's the oil that your body needs. I love the fresh woody scent of frankincense. Frankincense is mentioned 17 times in the Bible. And I think the most famous passage is probably where the three wise men um, brought gifts to baby Jesus. Um, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. This ancient and valuable oil has beauty and relaxation benefits. Um, when Howard Carter opened Tutankhamun's tomb in 1922 after 5,000 years, there was an unmistakable smell of frankincense in the air. They burned this resin um, to embalm the, the body of the young pharaoh. And when I was in the Egyptian museum, I saw the alabaster jars that came from Tutankhamun's tomb. And in one of the jars, there was still some of the solid perfume. And they tasted the perfume and it contained um, pure coconut oil, frankincense and spikenard. And that was quite interesting that after 5,000 years, it was still there, you could still see it. Um, frankincense is steam distilled from the Boswellia cotterite tree grown on the young living farms in Oman. The resin is collected by hand and um, I watched a video on this and it's quite interesting. They cut a small portion of the tree, scrape it down and then they leave it for 10 days to let the resin come out. And this is done um, for quite a few times and about the third time the resin is a higher quality so the first resin isn't high quality and then about the third time then they get the high quality resin and sometimes they even do it up to seven times so um yeah it's it's great for supporting your lungs during colds and flu and it's amazing for fear for bad dreams for nightmares it makes you feel confident and it soothes and relaxes the spirit and it's wonderful for your skin um especially aging skin and wrinkles. And I saw Ashley on the last call that we had, she put it in a rollerball and she was wiping it all over her face. So I think that's quite a good idea. Yes, and that's all for the oils. Um, now I'd like to talk to you about the Young Living community, all the people that are on this call. Um, 
if you are not part of the Young Living community, please, please contact the person that um, invited you to this call and become part of this wonderful community. They're so supporting and there are so many groups, WhatsApp groups, Facebook, and there are apps. So please ask questions. There's always somebody to help you and please attend the Zoom calls. Um, that's our way to learn and that's our way because in every Zoom call you attend, there's always something new. You always learn something new. Um, and it's a wonderful community. So please get connected and join join this community. It's it's wonderful. And I hand over to Ashley. Hey guys, so I look super, I'm in a super weird place in my house. Um, I'm actually you know, the only, I would say, the only person that's joining all of you from super far away. Um, I'm saying far as in like actually pretty crazy time zones away. I am in the US on the East Coast and I am just so excited to be part of all that's happening around the world with Young Living and being part of this amazing team. It's an honor and truly a privilege to be in your leadership. So for me, the most important thing in a class is seeing where you connect, right? Seeing if, you, if you're like, yes, I could see myself using those oils or I want to know more about toxins and how to eliminate them and follow through with that healthy lifestyle. So I know you're wondering, okay, I learned a lot. That's awesome. What comes next? So the first step in your overall wellness journey as part of our community is saying yes to getting started with just the basics. And I say just the basics because trust me, this will be your first box from Young Living, but it definitely won't be your last. And in that first box, um, we always love to suggest that everyone could benefit from these basic oils, right? This is our starter kit that we'd say is our premium starter kit, and it is really your gateway to health and wellness. You're also able to get started in multiple other ways that equal 100 PV. Instead of spending a lot of time going through exactly what that means, I'm going to encourage you after this call, connect with the person that invited you and they will make sure that they have the ideal setup for you to get started. But again, I would say 95% of people, the pathway is with this premium starter kit with the oils and the diffuser. So you can truly use your oils multiple different ways. And then you have access to the products like the thieves line, um, outside of just that thieves oil, right? But that, that product line where you're able to use it and get rid of the toxins there. And Ninja are red that we use for an overall health and vitality wellness drink. That's again, another product line that's just part of this overall lifestyle. Our supplements, part of this lifestyle that you'll add on to help with your gut and help with your immune system and be supportive in that way. So the way that you keep working through that is we have a loyalty rewards program and it's unlike most of those out there in that you're not getting the same products every month. You're actually not even always getting at the same date. You um, start earning 10% back right away and actually it goes to 20% and then all the way up to 25% after two years for that much. And you earn points back on your products that you would purchase already from either a mail-in you know, system or I would say for me in the US, Target, right? Target is like where everyone spends all their money and they don't pay me at all. So instead of buying products from there that are full of who knows what, I can get them through my monthly wellness box. It's our loyalty rewards program called Essential Rewards. So all that, you're like, okay, Ashley, still don't tell me what to do at this moment. I want to make sure you know at this moment, your first step is getting that premium starter kit and you can do that as your first Essential Rewards order. So that's really the best way to get started is the premium starter kit on essential rewards and then next month you can tailor that order and have supplements or have the thief slide even replenish i know for me i am constantly going through citrus oils because i diffuse them i put them in water like i just use them a lot and then i for sure get thieves every other month lavender every other month peppermint i also get every month so there's just some of them that i constantly replenish but there's others that i don't have to do that as much so it's not something that's always on my order i can simply stick it on there when i need it and go through that way and we do also have rewards for the amount you spend on those um, products so even though your um sorry someone is calling me on zoom it's the worst
So when you get started with that essential rewards order, again, you will craft it for your wellness goals and needs and work your way backwards from there. And you can get freebies, um, PV for us. It actually equals, I know it can be confusing, especially in the South African market. We talk about PV and it doesn't equal the amount of money you're spending in Rand, but for PV, it actually is usually equal to US dollars, dollar for dollar. And that is an easy thing that you'll be able to see as you become a member on our website, printed materials, they usually are going to have the corresponding PV right there for you along with how much it actually cost. Um, so the best way, again, such a rewards kit. So there's a better way to get started and it's a pretty simple thing, but this would be you saying, okay, so maybe I'll try out these oils. You know, they were kind of convincing. Let me try them out. But you're not quite sure about the monthly pro you know, the monthly wellness program yet. That's okay too. That's a better way. And then really there's, so again, we have best way. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm, I'm all for the best way. And then there's better. And then we really do have a good way and a way that is, of course, a step in the right direction. And that's you simply saying, I know there's a few of these things I could use. I'm going to add them up to equal 100 PV and I'm going to get started that way. Way as kind of a way to try out all of them and see where I land as far as what I'm using the most. So whether you are in the um, good, better, or best category, I want to encourage you. There's a place for you in this community and you also are able to share your referral link at the very first day that you get the membership. Not because you have to, there's no obligation. I'm not asking you to start a business, but maybe someone on here wants to build a paycheck. And if you would like to build a paycheck to help cover the cost of your products or dream even bigger than that, we are here to do that with you and all in it for you. And there's no extra step. And I know someone had already asked if there was a way to get started with that before we even started the call. And there is a way. It simply is getting started with the kit the same way as you would if you were just going to be a product user. Um, and finally, and most importantly, you actually get to be part of this um, this Young Living lifestyle uh, with a discount of 24% off. And as long as you're spending at least 50 for PV per year, which of course you will be with Grace and Ease, you actually get that access. And that's huge for me because I know I have been part of Harvest. I have traveled around the world to our farms and um, we simply don't pay enough for our oils. And that might sound silly, but it's such a precious experience for me that when I get a discount, I'm like, yes, like 24%. I'm like, that feels amazing because they are so highly valued. So I want to ask you today, how are you going to get started? And um, after that step, what's going to be next? So as I leave that, I'm going to kick it back. I don't know to Laura or Chrissy, I'm not sure to really close us out, but I cannot wait to welcome you. Remember, you can't use what you don't have. And we're so excited to welcome you. The person that invited you will get this started, do it online. It's a five minute process. And then your products will be to you. Um, I would actually say in the US, we actually are slower than you guys. You're more of a maybe... I wouldn't say more than 10 days that I've heard of. So you'll have that in your hand very soon. So thanks for being part of it. And again, can't wait to see you in WhatsApp and Facebook and growing and thriving along with us. Chrissy, was there anything you wanted to end off with? No, that was awesome. Thank you, everyone. That was really amazing. Okay, so thank you so much for spending your time with us this evening. Um, we really appreciate your time and we hope you learned a whole lot out of this um, call tonight. We are planning a very exciting uh, Thieves DIY class uh, for next Monday. So please stay tuned and hop on next, week, uh, next, uh, next Monday evening. Same time, same place. Bye. Bye.